All right, today we're gonna hinge and squat. Back up to the chair, feet shoulder width. Hinge, squat, return to that hinge position and stand. It's not as easy as it looks to get back in that position you were in before you squatted. But when you're in that position, back in that position, you're going to feel that tension in the hamstrings. Uh, we're building a tremendous amount of strength in that posterior chain. And this is just a fantastic movement pattern to develop. <clears throat> Stretch. And strengthening. And it's not too bad either. It's pretty, pretty straightforward today. Pretty simple movements. Um, by themselves, simple movements. A little bit more complicated put together. We just want to make sure we don't get sloppy. Hinge, squat, back in that same position, stand. Hinge, squat, back. Um, this gets us ready for the bed lift. Builds great posterior chain strength. Hamstrings, the glutes, the low back. When we talk about core, we're not just talking about our abs. We're talking about all the way around, all the way around. Our core <clears throat> holds us up. And that's what these four minute little videos are all about, is getting that core activated, getting those muscles moving. Doesn't require any fancy equipment, no gym membership. It doesn't even require 10 minutes, because it's four minutes. This is just the beginning. This is, this is the start of, of getting moving. Granted, there's lots more that you can do, but um, this is one of those, not just better than nothing, but just fantastic. Um, fantastic to get these movements in every day. Hinge, squat, hinge, squat. Most of us grew up learning that these muscles back here are the biggest in our whole body. And uh, there's a reason. Uh, that glute muscle, it's supposed to get us from point A to point B. It's supposed to move <clears throat> tremendous amount of weight not just our body weight, but other weight. And uh, unfortunately, it's turned into a cushion for most of us. Uh, we just sit on it. And so this is getting it fired up and uh, getting it back to doing what it should do. Help regulate our metabolism. Hormone control, all right? That was it.